Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting here. In this video today, I am going to show you how to use our Fun Stampers Journey card carrier die set. Um, this may not look much to you, but I will go ahead and show you um, a sample that I have created already. And look at this thing of cutesy rootsy beauty. It is a, as it's labeled, a card carrier. Um, and I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of how to create it and how many cards fit in it and what else you could do with it um, in this video. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so I uh, here I have the card uh, carrier here on the side as well as the box or the envelope that the die came in. So once again, it's the card carrier die set and you see it is two pieces here and I'm going to move this out of the way but just again to show you it's DI0386. You can find this die set in our Bloom This Way Mini. Now, this is our January, February, and March mini catalog. And guys, if you have not gotten one, you need to get yourself one. It is adorable. Those of my Bloom Box subscribers um, should have already received theirs in the mail. And if you haven't, uh, shoot me an email so I can make sure that um, everything is good to go on that. And so I'm going to turn here to, I'm wondering if I passed it already. Yes, right here. So it is on page 15 of our mini catalog um, and it is orderable. As you can see there, it is a $48.95. It's a set of two dies and let's talk about um, those dies here. So you have two fairly large dies. I say one fairly large die and then one die that creates the handle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my ruler to show you the exact dimensions of this die the die, not the finished product. I'll do that in a bit in a minute. But it's basically a little over six and an eighth inch um, across and uh, wide, I should say, and then about seven inches um, tall. All right, now that's just the die. Now the reason I'm bringing that out, pointing that out, is because we cannot use this die on smaller machines. You need a machine that has a platform that is bigger, okay? So, um, you know, those small cuddle bug platforms will not work. Now, of course, our um, platinum machine, our Journey Platinum machine is perfect for this. Even our Amaze machine plates are too small for this particular die. This is also why it's at that $48 price point because it is quite large. It's a pretty big um, die and of course it gives you this awesome, super awesome uh, finish. So um, this was just my sample so I wanted to show you the finished product. Now I want to go ahead and walk you through how to put it together. So I have gone ahead and I have die cut this out of our oatmeal cookie cardstock and I did it out of just a plain paper so you could see exactly where the score lines fall um, and what you'll need to do to put it together and hopefully it, with it being a solid piece um, you'll be able to understand it a little bit better. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to run that large die twice, okay? Because your one's going to be one side and the other one's going to be the other, okay? As well as the little handle pieces. You'll run that through the machine twice, two separate pieces for both dies, okay? And then once you've done that, you'll notice right away it has that awesome, super fun kind of sheared um, top, and that is the top of your bag, okay? Um, and then you'll notice some score lines. I'm trying to lift it up here so you can see. There's gonna be score lines on all three ends. Okay, so there we go right there. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to start folding on those lines. And of course my little handy dandy crease tool is awesome. So you're gonna score going in. Okay, so you see the impression here. So you're not gonna fold it in, you're gonna fold it outside. Okay, did I just say the opposite? <laughs> Wherever, basically, wherever it's going down, you're going to fold that direction. A lot of people think that it, once it's scored, it means you fold it in on itself, but you actually fold it out of itself, if that makes sense. Okay, so it, since it's already uh, scored, you can, it makes it a little bit easier to kind of see where exactly. And I like to take my uh, crease tool, once I kind of manually fold it, just use my crease, crease tool to make it nice and sharp. You see that? And you'll do that for each thing. So I kind of, again, I do it manually first to make sure I've got it where I need to. Then I go back and make a nice crisp fold right on that line. 
Then again for the little flap. There, okay. And then one more here going in. So what we're creating right here, these are the side flaps that we're going to adhere um, and create the bag. Now there's one more crease and this one kind of goes against the general rule because this one you are going to just fold in on itself because this is that side. This is what makes the gusseted part of our bag. You see how there this little part goes in. So it's, uh, if you know these bags are called gusseted. Um, so you want to go ahead and fold that in on itself just because we want it to be able to fold nicely, crease nicely once we're ready. Now you'll notice I folded it and then I kind of unfolded it back again. That's just so that it makes it a little bit easier for me to adhere um, it, it to the other panel, all right? So that's pretty much done and you'll do that to both sides. So I will go ahead and use that crease tool. Again, doing it the exact same to both sides. Pretty easy actually and it creates such a cute bag and it's the perfect size for carts which is what I'm going to be using mine for tomorrow actually. Okay so I've got both panels there already scored when I sent it through the machine and then uh, creased and folded with my crease tool. Now the best um, it, uh, excuse me, the best glue that you want to use for this, I think, in my opinion, is our craft glue just because um, it's easier. I always, guys, you know this is my favorite. It's just easier for me to kind of lay it perfectly and then just kind of um, create that nice uh, bond. This is a great paper to paper bond. Of course, if you want to use um, double sided tape, that's great. We have our white liner tape that's wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it kind of goes together. So what I do is I kind of fold the end flaps in, okay, because we're going to be basically creating that bag like this. And you're going to take one side, the side that has the single flap, the side that has the single flap you're going to adhere to the side that has the double flap. So you see this is a single flap, and what I mean by double is I mean this, these, two little, these two little sections, or maybe I should call it the gusseted side, right? You're gonna put some uh, glue here, so put your little adhesive on that side, and you're gonna glue it to this first section here, right, just like this. And of course, I'm showing you first, and then I'll go ahead and do it. And then you'll do the same thing, once that side's done, to this side. Of course, the flap needs to go in on itself, and we'll get to gluing these sides in a minute and then this one here, and it goes right on top of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that done. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of, um, of our craft glue, and I don't wanna put gobs and gobs. This really does has a, have a really nice uh, paper to paper bond. And line it up. I'm gonna open this up just a minute so I can line it up it's great. And actually, a lot of times I like to just open it up flat for this first piece. This is why I love this glue, guys. It dries pretty quickly, but it gives you just enough room, wiggle room, to adjust as needed. Okay, so a lot of the um, tape runners or the other glues are just kind of, once you're stuck, you're stuck, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to burnish it with my fingers just to make sure it's got a nice um, um, grip to it. It's gotten a hold of itself. Good, good. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this side here, okay? And actually what I can do is I can fold it and fold it on itself. Did you see what I just did there? So once I did that, and again, I'm going to take care of this side in a minute, I adhered to those together, then I just kind of made it flat so that when I'm ready for this side, it's right there for me, and I'm just going to put the glue and press down, and voila. Okay, so let's do that voila part. So again, a little bit of glue there, not too much. Um, I say not too much just because I hate it when glue is seeping out, but you know what I mean. Put enough, that's what I mean, just put enough. Like maybe I didn't put quite enough. <laughs> um, I might do a little more because I don't like my ends um, open. I like my ends to have a nice closed seal. I want them to be sealed, that's the word I'm looking for. Make sure it's straight. 
nice and flat. I'm going to use my tool again just to burnish that. Put a little bit of pressure down. Okay. Very good. All right. That's much better. <laughs> okay, so now you can put it back into like box form, okay? Give it a few, you might wanna give it a few seconds for it to really get that uh, grip, to, for it to adhere to the other sides. You can kinda of see if it's coming out or not. There we go, I realized I didn't put mine all the way to the right end, but I think I got it now. Okay, so now put it upside down. Okay, and really it's up to you. What I did here was I put my little bitty flaps first, put a little bit of glue, put that down. Technically, you probably don't even need a little bit of glue on this end, just completely how you want it. You can close it down, put a little bit of glue here, and then seal it tight. That is basically it. That is the box. Um, I said keep calling it a box. That is the bag shape. Okay, so really it's up to you. I'll go ahead and put just a little bit here. Um, actually, I'll put it on the flap that I'm gonna glue down. Okay, you see what I'm doing there? Fold it down and in on itself. Make sure it's, you know, you don't want it to be like skewed, so make sure it's nice and uh, squared away. Then I turn it upside down, and to be quite honest, I took my glue and I just kind of pressed it down inside the bag to create that uh, bond there to make, it, to make sure it's sticking right. You could use your crease tool. Whatever it takes to get it to kind of make sure that it's sticking to each other, a little bit of pressure. And then you'll notice right away that because you crease the sides to create that gusseted look, you've got your lovely gusseted bag, right? Both sides. Okay, and then of course the last step is to add your uh, handles here. So it comes with that little handle die. You can cut two of them out out of whatever uh, color you want. Of course, this is just a basic bag that I've created here today, so I didn't go into anything cutesy wootsy, but I'll show you what I did with my other one in a minute. Stay there for a second. So I'm going to glue just the ends of this. Now you can get creative, guys. You can do um, really fun washi tape. You can do different colors. You can um, you know what? You can forgo these and you can just use ribbon. You can use super cute ribbon, tie a hole punch a little hole on these ends right here. Just little, Put a knot with your ribbon, feed it through, put a knot, and then you've got ribbon handles. You can use twine handles. These are just um, what's in it and they're adorable. They're super cute. I love them. Um, but if you wanted to use your card carrier for maybe something a little bit more hefty, um, or anything like that, you could, of course, you just have tons of options. That's kind of my point. You can do what you want with these. Make them your own. That's what I always tell my students. Make it your own. All right, so now that the handles are there, you've got a super cute little bag. Isn't that adorable? Now, let me bring out my decorated one because this is the cute one. I mean, this is cute too, but it's just calling for um, it to be uh, what a little die, a little stamp, a little something to be added to it. So this here is using our spring filled prints. I wanted to bring out the cover for that so you guys can see it. Um, I used it again when I used, when I made our card box. You might remember the video I did when I created the envelope box. Love that paper, right? Um, so this is our spring filled prints right here. And again, it's in our spring mini catalog. It is adorable, guys. It's 65 pound weight. It's perfect for this type of deal. It's perfect for this envelope box die. Um, it's just a really nice weight. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's just perfect for these type of things. So I wanted to point that out. I used our mirror gold paper and our all occasions banner die to create the little heart um, banner here. So you'll see that there, so all occasions. And then just some of our beautiful ribbon here that we have, you guys, you know we carry um, a lot of beautiful high quality ribbon 
at a really great price. And that's it. And now I switched out the, I made the handles using our Denim Days cardstock. Um, so I didn't use this for that. I just wanted to add a, add a little extra something. The back I left blank, but you guys can decorate your bags as, um, as you desire. Now what I wanted to show you was how many cards might fit in here. And really, the answer to that is, is it just depends on the size, right? What, how, how many layered layers does your card have is what's going um, to, that's, that's what's going to di dictate how many cards fit. So I've got a whole bunch of cards right here. So let's see here. This is my happy birthday. Some of them. This one has, uh, it's not that many layers. <laughs> It's got two or three, right? So we'll fit that one in there. Now here was my thought, okay? My thought was, I, and okay, so you can be creative, of course. I thought this would be a cute card carrier. So like you have your card and maybe a little gift card or a little gift, a little treat or something in there, and then you're done. You've got this cute little happy birthday or you know, whatever it is that you're, whatever holiday that you are celebrating or whatever special celebration you've got going on. You could um, put a card in there and you can, you know, add whatever to it. It'll just be adorable, right? Or you can use this as a, like an, a gift, um, what am I trying to say? A card set. So maybe you have four cards in a set. So I'm going to take this one out for a minute. And you guys know I was really big into my Flannel Life um, stamp set and I did some cards, some Flannel Life cards. Of course this has, does not go at all with this. Maybe I'll use my... <laughs> Maybe I'll use my oatmeal cookie one. That would go with it. And um, so maybe, remember this one? Oh, y'all, this was like one of my favorites uh, Christmas card tutorials. Um, I know I'll probably bust it out again next year. And maybe I'll add, so in my mind, I'm thinking a gift set has about four cards, right? So maybe I'll add one more. Y'all remember this one? I love this one. And maybe this is like my gift cards and then I'll stick some envelopes. And so basically, and you guys can see, this is some, some pretty multi-layered cards there. They fit perfectly in here. I probably could do one or two more. So that and then the envelopes would fit just right back on the inside, just right behind it. And then this could be like a gift um, card, not gift card, excuse me, a, a card set where you are, the whole thing in itself is a gift and you're giving it to them as kind of like a stationary piece or something like that. Anyway, that's just the idea that I had. Obviously, you could use it however you want. You can use it as I'm using it tomorrow. Actually, my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow, and so I'm going to stick her card in here, the envelope, uh, obviously the card in the envelope, and then just a little gift card with some Hershey's Kisses, and basically that's what I'm doing for her little gift. So anyway, isn't that super cute?